The Triple B Podcast would like to invite you to come break bread with your brothers. If you like what you're hearing on the show, if you think we missed the mark, or if we got it all wrong, reach out to us on social media. We can be reached on Twitter at triple underscore B underscore pod or search Brothers Breaking Bread Podcast. We are the Brothers Breaking Bread on Facebook and our email is brothersbreakingbreadpod at gmail.com. Further descriptions are in the show notes. Like, follow, friend, do all that good stuff. And please never forget to break bread with your brothers. How y'all doing? We out here, chilling in the spot. What up? How y'all doing? We out here, chilling in the spot. What up? Breaking Bread Podcast in the house. Hey, dude, we're out of the pop up. Yeah, let's make it happen. Let's not just talk about it. This is a beautiful thing, man. It's all this blackness, and we all just getting together, we playing dominoes, we eating, we drinking. And, you know, food is always just the, the extra man. They deprive these people of their basic human rights. You know, and we call ourselves Americans. We're supposed to be above all this. They'll fake the prices, they'll make it seem way out of court. We brothers, we breaking bread. How y'all doing? We out here, chilling in the spot. What up? Trying to hold it all together, man. Life is moving fast right now, man. So it's good to have everybody come through. I love that, man. I love it a lot more than I could, I could, I could, I could say to you guys. Hello, everyone. This is Donald Trump. Hopefully, your favorite president of all time, better than Lincoln, better than Washington with an important announcement to make. I'm doing my first official Donald J. Trump NFT collection right here and right now. They're called Trump Digital Trading Cards. These cards feature some of the really incredible artwork pertaining to my life and my career. It's been very exciting. You can collect your Trump digital cards just like a baseball card or other collectibles. Here's one of the best parts. Each card comes with an automatic chance to win amazing prizes like dinner with me. I don't know if that's an amazing prize, but it's what we have. Or golf with you and a group of your friends at one of my beautiful golf courses, and they are beautiful. I'm also doing Zoom calls, a one-on-one meeting, autographing memorabilia, and so much more. We're doing a lot. My official Trump digital trading cards are $99, which doesn't sound like very much for what you're getting. Buy one and you will join a very exclusive community. It's my community, and I think it's something you're going to like, and you're going to like it a lot. They also make perfect gifts, so you can buy them with your credit card or crypto. All you need is an email address. Go to collecttrumpcards.com and buy your Trump digital trading cards right now before they are all gone, and they will be gone. This is my first official Trump trading card NFT collection, and you get a chance to meet me. Go to collecttrumpcards.com right now, and remember, Christmas is coming, and this makes a great Christmas gift. No purchase necessary. Void where prohibited. Hey, 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 I'm sorry, I'm hurting. <laughs> There's going to be more, anyway, hey, 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 what's going on, y'all? Triple B Podcast, Brother Bacon Bread in the house, we here. Yeah, yeah, I'm back. I'm fucking back. I'm fucking back. I'm back like cook crack. What's going on, party people? Joe Jeff in the house, Slim AC, Kim here. Lady Lavender here. I'm here. The Casey Stork here. How y'all doing, party people? What up? Yeah. Welcome oh, back. Welcome I back. I ain't got no man. Fuck. Is it the, was it the trading cards? Y'all want some? Yeah. There's gonna be more, according to this. Uh, it's limited. Explain the, explain this to me. How how is it gonna be limited digital cards? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> but why he said this this the first. That means there's gonna be more. And then and then he said there's digital cards, you can trade them like baseball cards. And I'm confused. How are they limited in digital? <laughs> I don't know. I don't, I don't know. I don't know. And they ninety nine bucks. Like, 
I don't know. I don't know. I don't. I, I don't understand NFTs at all. So, I don't understand this commercial at all, nigga. But I don't think Trump does either. So I think we even. <laughs> I was wait, hey! I was waiting for that nigga to chime in, talking about if you want a silver dollar, just right. <laughs> fucking or, or a fucking gold tone chain. <laughs> Go. <laughs> That's bad, dog. Uh, uh, former president oh, selling NFTs, nigga. Troll, bro. Uh, lifetime troll. We are really, we are really in the whoredom of this country, dog. We are, we are, we are, we are, we are here, nigga. <laughs> hey, what's worse is that's just gonna work. That nigga's getting paid off that motherfucker. Bruh, you're going to have, you're going to see a nigga with this. Yeah, you're going to see them, and you need oh. to, you need to frown at them, nigga. But you know what? But let let's check in. A lot of some some tabs here. A lot of things to talk about. I'm just happy to be back. I had to. I didn't even know how to start the show for a second. Nigga, anyway, you should have started with the little uh, Deion Sanders shit. I'm coming. I'm coming. I'm coming. Hey, I'm, I'm coming. Back, back. <laughs> and I'm coming with some luggage. It's Louis. I'm coming. I'm coming. Ah, <laughs> uh, shit. Let's keep keep the sexism going. Uh, Kim, how you doing? Ladies first. <laughs> Dang, sexism. That's how we gonna start the show. Hey, I'm back. Yeah, Inappropriate I'm words all around for everyone. I think I took a couple of weeks off, so I haven't been on in a minute. I'm glad to be back as well. Um, I ain't been doing too much or nothing. Everything is getting all tied up. End of year, quarter four. Life is good. Nothing much over going on. Nothing much going on over here. Okay. All right. Yeah. We'll, 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 we'll disperse it. No, not all the women first. Sam AC, how you doing, pimp? Oh, man. Oh, what up? Back in the building, man. Uh, Triple B is back from the slums of Prospect. <laughs> Striking again. You know what I'm saying? We got our Method Man back in the building. Oh, Bosco back on the phone. <laughs> uh, but I'm good over here, man. Birthday today. Um, Hell yeah, my bad. Burr, 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 burr. I feel bad. I said birthday to you too. I didn't mention it, but yeah. Happy birthday, yeah, nigga. Early in the day, forgot all about it. All oh, good, man. I forgot about it too, nigga. I've been working all day, so. <laughs> uh, no, nah, it's been all good, man. Over here, birthday. Uh, you know, rearranging some shit and actually uh, gonna upgrade the living space. So, uh, moving around to a bigger space today. So that's really what I've been doing, nigga. Good shit. Uh, what's up? I said good shit. Yeah, so upgrading the living space, man, getting a space with an extra room and uh, more broad, you know, more broad living arrangements. So, uh, like same building, different. Uh... No, nah, new building. Uh, you know, uh, I know I just moved a couple weeks ago, but, you know, now uh going to move and upgrade space for kids, man, you know, my, uh, for my daughter and, you know, my girlfriend's son and, you know, everything. So just going to. Uh, Open up, man, and you know, finally get uh, get a living space situation where it's you know big enough for everybody, and you know. So today, nigga, I, I've been uh, you know Uncle Juan's movers. All right, <laughs> that's what's been going on. Yeah, this, shit. this nigga moving like the fans watching, bro. Fans hey, watching. I might be, nigga. I was up and down the road, nigga, like I was trafficking today, nigga. If you was watching me, you might have been like, hey, nigga, watch the white car. Yeah, you got the paper tags on that motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> Got them hoes blacked out. Uh, well, good shit, man. Uh, happy birthday, man! Thanks for uh spending it with your brothers and sisters, man. We really appreciate it, bro. I couldn't wait, man. I had to get here all day, nigga. Met the man was back, nigga. I, I <laughs> Roll that shit, smoke that up. shit. <laughs> <laughs> Niggas was gonna be lathered up. I was like, I'm, oh, I'm, nigga, I'm here for all of this today. <laughs> Yeah, all, the, all these you guys was tired of the RZA running shit. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, I fucking strike, nigga. Fuck that nigga. Shit. Joe out here cracking that whip. Niggas get right. <laughs> <laughs> nigga, the abbot's in the building, bro. Oh, shit. I love it. I love it. Lady Lavender, how you living, ma'am? Doing all right. Same thing I say every day. I'm alive. And every day trying to be better. Uh, yesterday, a few sources on my side. Now, yesterday, um, in the earlier part of the day, I got a notification that there was a package out for delivery. 
And I was like, oh, cool, cool. USPS got it. It's going to be there. When I get home, I can take care of it. I can do what I need to do with the rest of the pieces. Um, so I get home. I actually got home earlier than usual yesterday. Um, I don't even remember why. But I got home earlier. And then as I got home, the mail person is like walking just past my little gate where my apartment parking lot is. So I open my gate. I drive in. And she follows behind me. Like in her, she like walks behind me, and I'm like, oh, sweet. So she didn't deliver the stuff here yet, so she, I'm, I can make sure she's got it. So I'm standing at the mailbox for a second um, as she comes over there. And at first I was like, okay, let me wait. Let me see if she's got my package. Let me ask her if she's got it. Let me, like, make sure she puts it in my box. But then I was like, no, let me just leave her alone. Let me show her that I care about her. I, like, broke, talked to her for a second, like, asked her how she's doing, asked her about work at this time of year and just how she's doing, if she's going to get some time off for the holiday or whatnot. You know, trying to show I care. Didn't test her. And then I was like, let me just go inside. I'll take the dog out. And when I bring the dog back out, I'll just go ahead. She'll be gone, and I'll look in the mailbox. Look in the mailbox. There's no package in there. There's supposed to be two packages in there. And then I go online, of course, check the tracking. Because I was like, maybe it's still out for delivery. Are there are two USPSs? Like, does the U.S. Postal Service, I know they're broke, but maybe they got, like, shifts or something. But it said it was marked undeliverable. And I was like, how did this motherfucker come all the way in here with me? <laughs> to the mailboxes and then mark my shit undeliverable. And then yesterday also, I'm at school and um, normally I don't like to have kids in my room at lunchtime because that's like my time. Um, but it's finals week plus two days next week. Um, so I was like, let me let some kids come in here. Some of these kids got to get their grades up. Also, if you got a B or higher, you don't have to take a final. So I was like, this kid's got a C, but they're real close. If they come stay in here during lunch, I can help them out, make sure they pass, or not pass, but like get higher. So I'm like, let the kids stay in there. There's two kids sitting in my room. I'm like, real quick, guys, I just stay right here. Don't do anything. Don't touch anything. I'm just going to run to the bathroom real quick and then be right back. Um, so I go to the bathroom, and right outside my classroom, I always stand there when the kids are coming in because it's very, very slick real slippery right there so i'm my ass comes out of the bathroom i'm like i gotta hurry up and get back there because those kids are in there i don't want them into my room by themselves plus i just need to get in there and help them and get their grades up we only got 25 minutes of lunch so as i'm rushing back from the bathroom i step out the bathroom and slipped and fell it was like something out of a movie my legs were completely parallel to the floor whole body is parallel to the floor and i end up landing on like my wrist and my rib hit the ground a little bit and my other wrist hit the ground and I think I hit my chin a little bit on the ground. Um, thankfully, nobody was around. There was, like, two kids way down at the other end of the hallway. I, that was my first thought. I was like, oh, shit, how many kids saw me do this? Absolutely not like this. <laughs> and then my next thought was, is anything broken? I was like, okay, nothing feels broken. I think I'm good. Um, but it was like, okay, I, I catch myself trying to help people, trying to show these kids that I care, trying to help them, and I fuck up my wrist. Um, thankfully, I went to the chiropractor last night, and he adjusted. I didn't know you could even adjust wrist, but he adjusted my wrist in so many different ways. And it feels perfectly fine. But then this morning I woke up. I didn't realize my other wrist was fucked up until this morning. So now on Monday I'm going to go back to him and see if he can fix my other wrist. Um, so anyway, it just feels like any time I feel like I'm making progress or showing that I care or showing vulnerability, then things get worse anyway or something else gets more fucked up and, or there's some other bullshit happens and it often ends up feeling very worse. So every day trying to be better. Every day saying that I, I just may not ever be better, may never be enough. But tomorrow, I get to go to Texas. I'm going to see my family down there. I'm surprised to visit. My mom doesn't know I'm coming down there. So it's funny. Today, I was talking to her, and uh, she called me tonight because, uh, well, different other family stuff is happening. But she called me tonight to chat, but she doesn't know I'm coming tomorrow. So I'm, like, trying to listen to all her stories, even though I know she's going to share them all with me tomorrow. And She's telling me what she's going to do tomorrow. And she's like, I'm going to go. Yeah, my, your one sister is going to have me over. I haven't been at her house since uh, she got new furniture in there. And I was like, I know. I told her in my head. I'm like, that was the plan. Like, I told her to do that. Like, I told her to have you over so I can meet you over there. So I'm going to get an Uber and, like, meet her over there and, like, surprise her and hope she doesn't have a heart attack or something like that. So, um, so it'll be good to be down there and share some laughs with the sisters. I'm trying to let my mom see the Woman King because I know she knows that story. She learned it when she was younger. So we want to get her to see it. It's not in any theaters down there, so i got to see where I can show it to her on streaming somehow. Yeah. So that's me. Well, thank you. Yeah, well, thank you. Damn. Uh, hopefully uh, safe travels to you. Uh, get back to your, your people. And I'm glad that uh, you shared this story with me that it wasn't on video because you might have been a member of the uh, Block of Charge 
Oh, uh, it's on video somewhere. Someone's camera in every. No, this morning I went. No, this mor- it's not. So yesterday I talked to my next door neighbor, the UFT rep. So I was like, dude. I slipped and fell out here. I've told these motherfuckers several times that it's slick outside here, and now I finally fell. I tried to make sure no kids fell, thankfully, but I fell. I was like, what do I got to do to like, get, like, workman's comp? I was like, I know I'm, I'm going to get the money. Get that comp, So she was baby. like, okay, you got to go to the nurse to get a form. So I went to the nurse, filled out a form, and then this morning I was like, okay, who do I turn this form to? And she's like, you got to take it back to the nurse. She was like, also go check with security to see if they have it on camera. And I don't, I didn't have a class that first period. So I was like, let me go talk to Mr. Matthews. So I went to Mr. Matthews, was in there, saw the whole scheme of how they have all these cameras everywhere. I was like, yeah, my room is down at the end of that hallway. Cause I'm at the very, very end of a really long hallway. Um, and he shows the video and he turns the camera on and the camera is set up in such a fucking way that the camera's right on top of the bathroom door and the camera pans down. So you can only see probably about eight feet in front of the bathroom. So where I slipped and fell, it's not on camera. Anywhere. What? That's a setup. Safely or not, I don't know, but it's not on camera. It's got to be a different angle that has it from well, the one, They had one at the other end, like the very, very far end on the other side. So the other end of the hallway where you first turn down. Um, but that one you can't see that far down. You can't see what's happening down at my end of the hallway. Mm-hmm. So honestly, I feel like they need to get better security because I was like, anybody could be down here and do shit. Because there's also this little alcove, but it's not an alcove. They blocked off this area, and it's, anybody can do. It's just there's a lot of places kids can be doing shit right there, and yeah. nothing. Kids be fucking. They fucking. <laughs> That's what I told the teacher when I said when I, I was like, hey, if you ever want to have sex in the school, just do it right in front of that door because it's not gonna be on camera. There you go. I was like, ah, uh, yeah, maybe. Yeah. <laughs> Madness. <laughs> But thank you for being here, ma'am. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, and I, I fucked up. I said Joe Jeff in the intro. Uh, it's like a tribe call question. You got to say the whole thing. Uh, half of the buzz of doom. Uh, Joe Jeff, how you doing, pimp? I'm uh, I'm in the co-pilot's chair again, so I can drink a little more. <laughs> <laughs> they ain't never so, stopped me. <laughs> so expect that. Hey, nigga, I had too many things buzzing around here. I, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> You know what I'm saying? If I get a laptop on life support, they got it. <laughs> I got to have the jaws of life ready to revive this motherfucker at any moment. You know? Yes, sir. Uh, yeah, man, I'm, 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 uh, I'm happy to go ahead back to my normal role and, and have these assists, nigga. You know what I'm saying? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Let's have a fake argument. And this is for old times' sakes. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. This, I just I know this nigga was arguing uh, in the chat group a little too much, and I was like, "Nigga, get on the show and get your rock <laughs> off, nigga. This shit's ridiculous, bro." Nah, oh, my bad. It's your turn. It's your time. My bad. I, I preserve my time. I'm claiming my time. My bad. <laughs> so, um, I broke up a fight this week, so oh, that was okay, interesting. Good shit. Yeah. Um. <laughs> What else is popping? Yeah, so yeah, I mean, it, today was our last day. I'd have got two more days. She's jealous. That's okay. She'll be all right. We got off today, so my two weeks begin of, of break, rest and relax. When did you guys last day of school in, in May? I don't know. I don't know. Uh, hopefully you guys go all the way up until June. Shit. How the fuck you got all these extra days and we don't have? <laughs> uh, I'm not even sure, honestly. I don't know why I asked you. Like, I know when my last day is. I don't know. It's before I mean, Memorial Day, whatever that holiday is. I mean, I feel like we're going to be done by Memorial Day. I don't know. How so, you have so many days? Like, I don't understand. You had two, you got four, that's four extra days that you didn't have that we did. That we did, yeah, you know what I'm saying. I've been drinking. So you jealous? Yes. I don't want to go to school next week. Next week. I didn't want to go to school Thanksgiving week. Like, I don't want to be there. Why are you just okay. jelly? I'm not gonna be there anyway, so I'm skipping school on Monday. It's gonna be all good. Yes, hey, I feel like I'm listening to rich niggas argue about money. I have zero days off. Shut up. None. <laughs> weekend. The weekend. That's it. That's what I got. Hey, I could have chose to join the profession too. Nah. I'm good. Hey, I like see, you was in there. You, 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 you bailed, bro. I like. My you can money. still do it. I like my there's, money. Uh, down in Houston, as well as you're in Kansas City, there's teaching residencies that will help you get uh, your teaching degree while you work and get it at the same time. I'm I could be your coach. I'm good. If they, All the, if they match my money, I'm good. I'm good. All the people. <laughs> Where? <laughs> All the people I deal with are asleep. In order to be a 95% of the time. <laughs> In order to be a teacher when the days off, you gotta be teacher when the days are on too. 
Mm-hmm. So, okay. That's it. Hey, AC, fuck them. Come come join. Uh, I teach you how to do EP, pimp. You, ain't, <laughs> you, you spend 10 minutes talking to a nigga, and then they intubate it. And then you do your job. <laughs> <laughs> nah, that's up my alley. Not fucking with people. Go to my, sleep. Hey, uh, my name is Roger. I'm a technologist. I will be assisting you in your procedure. Oh, how you doing? <laughs> Good night. Come back with some 10. <laughs> 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 Sleep, nigga. Then we strip the maggot, we put patches on them, and we do our job. <laughs> oh, nigga, that is right up the alley for the Grinch. Go to sleep. Yes, yes, sir. I love it. <laughs> That's why I love this job, nigga. I, I probably talk to a nigga. Outside of my coworkers, I may spend an hour talking to people outside of my coworkers during the week. Yes, maybe. Beautiful. Anyway, yo, my bad. Right back to you, Joe. My bad. So, um, kids are allegedly in town this weekend. I haven't heard from them and they uh their mother. That's a whole story in itself. They are um there's a cheer competition this weekend in Kansas City. So I will be meeting them at the spot. Yes, I see the I see the look on your face. Yeah. Nigga, I'm like, the, yeah, I'm still stuck yeah. on children made me in town, but I ain't heard from nobody, nigga. You know me, nigga. I'm like, mm. yeah. <laughs> so you know, say, hey, we gonna we gonna do the uh, the you know, the uh, the second half of the year roundup as we get prepared for the year end episode. I remember at the beginning of the year though, we had a liberation episode. So. Yes. <laughs> Shake that load out. You know Shake that load out. Shake that load yeah. out. Yeah. So um, I should be uh, getting up with my babies this weekend, and then um, the day after Christmas, they should be here for a week. So good shit, man. Good shit. We good. That'll be good. Yeah. What up with you, uh, Donny Bosco? I'm gonna try not to make it too long. I've been going. For, I'm here for a long. Anyway, uh, first of all, man, I don't want to say thank y'all because this is y'all podcast too. I understand that uh, me and Frank and then Joe may have been part of the process of bringing everybody here together. Um, in some ways, it's still my baby. You know what I'm saying? But it's not my baby. It's our baby. That's how we've cultivated this thing. It's all of us. But I really appreciate y'all, appreciate y'all keeping it going and doing what y'all got to do to keep the show going and not letting it just die and fall flat the way me and Frank kind of did when life kind of hit us. So just wanted to put that out there on the air, on the mic, recorded. I really appreciate y'all. And y'all was like, yeah, I am listening to every show because, uh, yeah, man, just didn't think I would get that emotionally caught up. In high school football, but I did. <laughs> and if anybody's on Twitter and follows me on Twitter, you know how emotionally caught up I was getting up about this shit. Um, but yeah, the season, uh, long story short, the, the season did not end the way we wanted to, but it still ended as the probably the, not probably, the most epic season that Leafs Seminole football has ever had, ever. They've never had a team go to the state. They never had a team be back-to-back district champs. They never had a team go only win, lose one game in the season. I mean, I, I mean, in the regular season, you know what I'm saying. Um, twins balled up. Uh, I know on the show I talked about some of my frustrations with the coaching stuff and just to see them as young men know that they are better than what they were seeing, but then also showing up at the state game the way they did, big catches, uh, turning like Yasir having as a fucking third and like fucking 15, the fucking in route, beat the fucking safety across his face for a first down. Yasir had like three or four catches that, it, that like just swung the tide a couple times. And to me, like the heartbreaking thing is all that hard work and it comes down to a missed field goal for a state championship, dog. Like I was like, I don't know, I almost cried. You know what I'm saying? Like to see them put. All that effort into something, um, and, I, and not just on the football field, off season, working out, um, actually working jobs because they want to work and get a little more money, and then also doing the, the little shit as far as like uh, after hours workouts, 
just all that stuff, man. So I'm, I'm proud of those young men. And then, good news, uh, tomorrow they have an official visit with William Jewell, both of them, with William Jewell uh, uh, College. I'm an old nigga. I did not realize that William Jewell is now a Division two school. Yeah, yeah, that helped yep. about 10 years ago. 2010. Yeah, yeah I, I just ain't been keeping up with it. My bad. They was like when I was AAU basketball, our, our regional tournaments happened at William Jewell, and they was in AIA. That's all mm-hmm. I knew. And then when they started talking about we gonna go there and did a little research, I was like, oh, you niggas D two now? Hmm, yeah, look at yeah. that. That ain't yeah. bad. But them niggas was uh, like one in eleven last year. So, but yeah, but I got uh, talk to the twins about. I'm like, you can go, go ahead, go ahead, Joe. CTC, huh? CTC. What's that? Are they gonna cut the check? Oh, that's what we gonna see tomorrow. They they cut they got the a fish, both of them got an official visit. Uh, they gonna uh, even though they're local, they are gonna put them up in a little hotel room. They gonna meet the coaches. They are gonna uh, have a little breakfast, take a tour of the campus. Me and they uh, mama will be there, and hopefully uh, people are saying the right things, not trying to bullshit the bullshitters. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Um, but yeah, man, just I don't know, man, just have. Uh, my, my my adult children, Ahmad, Zakia, have shown and proven the way to to the middles, as uh, Kim calls them, the middles, uh, affectionately, and that they just taking hold, man. Bo- uh, both of them, three, uh, I think uh, Yasir, three point eight, Xavier, three point nine, grade point average. You know what I'm saying? So doing that shit in the classroom, on top of being athletes, man, and they just really. I think sometimes the competition between, like, you know, your children ain't got to be about, like, on the field and dunking and basketball. It's like, okay, so our sister had a fucking 4.1. We we out here playing uh, football. We working, and we got 3.8, and we got 3.9. Sometimes that competition can just push them more than you can as a parent and just to see them grasp on that and dig she, into that. She, she hooped and, and threw the shot. She did hoop and throw the shot, but uh, she wasn't working. Oh. But she was doing, I mean, she was grinding in other ways, too, though. She was grinding in other ways. Um, she was doing more on the grinds, like getting a scholarship, uh, being like a, a, a honor society, all of the kind of things as far as pushing, helping the community, volunteering, shit like that. You know what I'm saying? Things that don't, you ain't getting no paper, but you helping people out to, to get their paper. You know what I'm saying? So, I don't know, man, just, like, you, you, uh, my cousin got married um, I think two weeks ago, my uh, baby cousin Casey and my oldest boy, Omar, was there. And it's just like, huh. Like, how, like, it, I, I know it's not luck, but it, it, it brought a tear to my eye. He's there with his little girlfriend. I mean, literally, she's little. This nigga's 6'5. Five. She's like 5'5, five, 5'6. Five, five, so literally, she's there with his little girlfriend. And to see him, how, how he interacts with her, interacts with the family and everything, man, it's just. I don't know. It's beautiful, man. So let's say to you, bro, uh, to to hear and see what all of your kids are becoming is commendable as fuck, brother. I, I just want you to know that, like, just verbally and just let you let you know and understand that what those kids are becoming and what those kids are doing and what they are accomplishing early in life is commendable as fuck. And I I, I can't wait to see what you know the the last two come through and, and bring. If they follow that pattern, they're going to be just as great. So and keep I, that shit up, man. And I appreciate it, man. And I mean, hey, salute to their mothers too, man. We was on our bullshit, but we, we came together to, to make sure our, our, our children wouldn't be on the same bullshit we was on. You know what I'm saying? So I, I, I got to salute their mamas too because, you know, the shit don't happen in the vacuum. Got to salute my mama, their mama, grandmoms. It takes a village. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah, but I do appreciate it, bro, and just – yeah, man, I'm just I'm just proud of them twins. I'm, tr- I'm, pr- I'm proud of them boys. They they grind it out, and it's hard to be on the football team playing the same position as the coach's son. And them, and they just they they dealt with it and balled up. Uh, as far as me personally, man, uh, life is good. Um, can't really complain, man. I mean, I I, I could, but I mean, shit. Uh, <laughs> I might. Laughing me for saying this, man. God, God's giving me a lot, man. So I ain't about to say shit about that, man, because he might take it away. You know what I'm saying? So, yep. On that note, everybody good? We can get into the show? Let's do it. 
Yeah, uh, yeah. Okay, here's some more of these uh, Trump NFTs. That's pretty good, though. I like that. <laughs> anyway. Con, con man. <laughs> con man. I, I didn't even realize, like, when you first put it up, I was just, like, read it as Conan. Yeah. And then I was like, what is this group he want me to join? But then once I opened it up, I was like, oh, con man. Ah, I get it. I get it. Okay. I'm trying to get the Coolander. I don't know why I had the fat Superman shit, <laughs> shit on, but. Oh, the Coolander? Mm. Uh, I'm guessing like Homelander, but I don't understand. I'm sure. I don't but, oh, the, but the. Superman. Huh? How's, how's Superman's fat ass apply? To I don't that? know why they had. They should just had a suit, a, a C in there, because they the coop, the coup, I guess, whatever they try to take of the government. So that's what I'm thinking they're running with. I don't get the S on the chest, though. I, I agree with you on that, Pimp. That shit yeah. damn near look like those uh, mad uh, books and trading cards. It do. Back in the day. It do. It do. It do. Touche. I agreed. Yes, yeah, niggas. Go ahead. I'm still stuck on the NFT part. Like, I want to try to get into this. I mean, I'm surprised that it's sold out or whatever, but I don't understand the NFT. So if somebody understands that, got a visual on that, like a YouTube video, just it, drop it in no, the comments. So there good, is, it's just, it's it. all crypto-based shit, and no one can truly explain it. <laughs> it's a big-ass Ponzi scheme, basically. I'm sure. But it's nothing tangible you can touch, though. It's based. It, that's NFT, non, fucking non, fucking non fucking touchable. I mean, I it's just it's non fungible some shit. I don't know. Yeah, but I forget. Okay. It, it, it basically means something you can't touch, but it costs money. But I can't touch it. Yeah, I'm good. It's like the strip club. <laughs> <laughs> it costs money, but I can't touch it. Say everybody else good too, cause your boy going to jail behind that shit too, ain't he? Oh, the the uh, the FTX nigga. Yeah, yeah, that nigga was taking out loans in the straight line. <laughs> <laughs> yep, but that's pretty much it. Uh, he ain't shit. Anyway, um, moving on. I mean, we already talked about Trump, but a, a notorious Trump judge just fired the first shot against birth control. In uh, retrospect, in retrospect, it was inevitable that a particular judge would come for contraception. Um, and we were talking about this earlier. Uh, let me see. A, for, uh, a former lawyer at a religious com- uh, a former lawyer at a religious uh, conservative uh, litigation shop. I don't, I'm not, Kaz McRick denounced in 2000, 2015 articles a so-called sexual revolution that began in the 1960s and 1970s in which sought public affirmation of the lie that the human person is uh, autonomous blob, a silly putty, unconstrained by nat- nature or biology, and that marriage, sexuality, gender, identity, and even the unborn child must yield to the erotic desires of liberated adults. Okay, that sounds real bad. So basically, in this case, the plaintiff is uh, Deanda is a father who says he is raising each of his daughters in accordance with Christian teaching on matters of sexuality, which requires unmarried pra- the unmarried children to practice abstinence and refrain from sexual intercourse until marriage. He claims that the program must cease all grants to health providers who do not require patients under the age of 18 to attain parental consent before receiving Title X funded medi- medical care. So basically, shutting down or removing an order which says that young ladies who seek contraception under the age of 18, they want to remove that because many of these programs are funded by the federal government. Uh, fuck that name. <laughs> I just see all these faces looking at me like, what? What? Uh... This is not a new I, argument, and numerous courts have rejected similar challenges to uh, publicly funded family planning programs, in part because the Deanda, the Nada, or the plaintiff legal argument would undermine the minor's right to privacy, which the Supreme Court has long held to include a right to contraception. Yeah, right to privacy is a thing. Yep. Unless you T.I. and you go to your daughter's... Uh, Gynecological <laughs> visits. 
to make sure she's still a virgin. <laughs> Maybe is Ti part of this? I don't know. I mean, let me read some more of this. <laughs> I don't know what's happening right now. I forgot all about that. Yeah, I don't forget. <laughs> <laughs> the petty in me never forgets. Never. I'll be a I'll be a ninety year old nigga. I remember back in two thousand fifteen, <laughs> nigga. I remember. <laughs> I might remember. I may not be able to pronounce a nigga's name, but I remember the shit that you did that I need to be petty about. <laughs> <laughs> um. Yeah. So Trump I just avoided. Hope it doesn't uh, have any traction. This is. So is it gonna be like on both sides? Because I see this affecting like young women heavy, right? right? But what about like the young men? Can they walk into health departments and still get condoms and things of that nature? But here's the thing, though. Like, I'm like, you ain't. You just you go to the fucking high and get condoms. Ain't nobody. You have no ID for that. True, but I think some of it is access, like access no, to no, resources. I, I hear what you're saying, but I'm no, no. I, I did the access to resources. I think young men still be able to go get condoms or whatever, but it's it's always going to hinder young. It's always going to hinder women, young, old, middle aged, no matter what. More more so than men. That's always been. That's always been. I don't know if it's the goal, but that's always what happens, right? <laughs> Yeah, I, I think that is the ultimate goal because it, you know, if you can keep your procreation source going, then it correct, it correct. works. Okay. Your I, cause works, right? I and agree. so, I guess I just automatically went into problem solving mode. Like, if this was to happen, then then how can we work against it? I'm sorry, I just I started futurizing on some things because this is just all bad. I mean, you continue. No, 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 it ain't bad. I ain't gonna, no, it is all bad. And yeah, please, I mean, continue your thought because it's like. You 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 are saying it's okay for a fifteen year old boy to go to Circle K and get condoms, which is a contracept which is a form of contraception, but if he's going to get condoms at age fifteen, what is he doing that for? Exactly. And I'm 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 thinking about all the other like statutes and things that could potentially be affected because like as a mandated reporter in this particular state of Kansas, if your child is under a certain age and engaging in sexual activity that's a like hotlineable offense, and so it's it's so many like I, when one rule changes, then how do the uh, how are the Correct. other rules affected? Yes, ma'am. Um, you know that's kind of where my mindset was, but I'm gonna continue to keep eyeballs on this because I hope it does not. Yeah, you know, I and just, we, I hope it doesn't get hot. Yeah, and we I think we've had several shows this past year, uh, not past year, year before. We talked about like Roe v. Wade and all that shit getting overturned and. And challenges to that, and we talked, and we we made jokes about it, not uh, like joking, but kind of like serious jokes. Where we were like, they coming for contraception. Well, here's joke. Uh, here's a, we knew that she was coming. Hold on, hold on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're right, Joe. That's, that's why I said it was like a ha ha ha, but like we laugh well, and keep from crying type shit. I'm well, a like thought process behind it. Hold on, hold on. Oh, go ahead. I'm sorry. I'm, I'm just. I'm just clarifying. I, I almost feel like it was stated. Yeah. Um, because what they've been doing is they've been basically going off the Tenth Amendment. Mm -hmm. And what they've been saying is the federal government has been overreaching. There's been too much big government. We need to lessen the size of the government and put it back on the states to decide. And so if a state decides they want to limit contraception, okay. Um. So they all basically been like, let's get the government out of people's business. Yeah, but we know we, as black folks, we know how that go. Yeah, we do. Hey, we but do. my question on this is, um, um, so the basis of it is that they, without parental consent, like a girl that's eighteen years old, under under the age of eighteen, under the age of eighteen can't get contraception without parental approval, right? As it stands now, she can. As it stands now, she can't. But I do remember in an episode earlier this year we talked about, and you can correct me if I'm wrong, isn't the a they can consent to sexual intercourse at the age of 16, though, right? In some states, it's younger than that. It depends yeah, on where you Yeah, it varies from state to state. Right. There are but, states but that go the youngest. It's younger than it's younger than eighteen. Right? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes. To answer your question, yes. So, so point being, they can, 
they have the right, they're able to be held, they can say they consent to sex, but they can't go get contraception for that consent. Right, but but I think that's when it kind of gets to this weird thing of like shame and live with your consequences type of thing. So that's a, that's a whole nother area of conversation. You know what I'm saying? It's like, oh, you're going to go out here and have sex and you got to live with your consequences for having sex type of thing. And there are people who, who really believe in that kind of idea. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, that's fucking wild to me. It's wild as fuck. Like, yeah, I, I mean, like, yeah, I... I Want all my children to, you know, make good choices. But I'm like, if you make a bad choice, let's have some protection. Right. At least on, have the option. Like, yeah. I, I don't, on, I don't on, both si- on both sides. Whether right. it be uh, my daughter having to take an oral contraceptive or my son being able to buy uh, condoms. You know what I'm saying? Well, yeah, exactly. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, so, I don't know. Uh... People, wow. Um, so yeah, that, that's what that was all about, and we'll, you know, we'll keep an eye on it. And I know Kim definitely, um, especially in her uh, position uh, that she plays in her real life, uh, we'll definitely keep an eye out on it. But uh, this idea that I don't know, and um, yeah, just just reading a uh, reading a book here, and just like the the shame of that we. I don't know. That's a whole nother discussion. Let's move on to something. I'm just, I just try to figure out what are they, what, what's the, what's the end game of it all. I, I really, I get confused every time something else, you know, comes out about it. But what what's the, the end game in all of this that they're trying to aim for? Like I don't, I don't. To blur, I, to to un unmuddy the lines of separation of church and state, and just make it just yeah, because it's like you have you have a guy talking about. Go ahead, yeah, Bill, my bad. They, they want to make a theocracy. Yeah, yeah, that's what it is. That's what, that's what it really is. Mm. It's like you are bringing your religion into what the, the rules and legal consequences that affect all of us. Yeah. So that, and I think maybe in the back of their mind, uh, you might be looking at the population situation. You know what I'm saying? We we did episode uh, a few weeks ago. The the world hit eight billion. Mm-hmm. Um, you know the number of white people in America is not increasing. It is decreasing, at least uh, proportional to the, the population. So the same reason they're trying to throw walls up is trying to the same way they're trying to tear these walls down. <laughs> <laughs> I, don't, I don't know. All right. Coming. Hey, man. If these walls could talk. <laughs> <laughs> what Kendrick at? If these walls could talk. <laughs> if these walls could talk. <laughs> if these walls could talk. Uh, but yeah, man, definitely keep on it, man. Like, there's a lot of you talk about church and state, uh, all kind of shit like that, man. It's a lot of. It's very blurry, muddy lines being crossed here. Um, and then it's like, oh, since my daughter wants to go out and be uh, sexual and wants to have contraception, I want to say, should nobody's daughter be able to get contraception? You know what I'm saying? It's like, that's wild as fuck. Oh. Yeah. But then, don't want to do the abortion thing. Nope. And then don't want to pay child support. Like, uh, you know what I'm saying? Give out WIC or nothing like that. You know nothing. what I'm saying? Nothing. I mean, just make it make sense. I don't understand. It's, it just just make it all congruent. I just want... <laughs> you know what? Same energy. Same energy, bro. That's all I want. Same energy across the board. I've been saying this since motherfucking, what, what, 2019? I just want the same energy, bro. That's all I want. You don't, you don't want no condoms. You don't want no birth control. Fine. Kick in on the... Right. On, on the baby, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, put half on it. Yeah. Damn, hold on. I, that's R. Kelly. Shit, damn, my bad. Yeah. My bad. I'm sorry, y'all. And he just dropped an album? <laughs> he did. And just uh, as soon as he dropped it, two hours later, it was removed Thanks, from all streaming off. services, nigga. Strip <laughs> that shit away. <laughs> Spotify said, hold up, what? Nigga, take that shit off. <laughs> all right. Nigga, let's how'd you get it here? 
Oh, he, shit. He ain't got a SoundCloud? <laughs> he got a nigga, nigga need something. Fuck nigga, when they here. take your shit off of YouTube. <laughs> hey. <laughs> no. Cause uh, you know, I got a uh, I got a chat group with the older kids, and uh, I think it was a Yasir was said, "Oh shit, I see my man drop the album. Let's see what he talking about." I said, "That nigga ain't talking about nothing but rape in prison. That's all he talking about, <laughs> nigga." <laughs> oh shit. Okay. Yasir so ain't singing about no glizzies. Oh no, I, I I stay with him. The glizzy, the glizzy gobbler, nigga. <laughs> All right, uh, please. That he was two fisted in the parking lot. Man. Hey, dog, nah, at that quick trip in St. Louis on the way back, that nigga had two glizzies. <laughs> he tried to sneak them out. <laughs> he was like, hold on, I got to go back in and buy something. Hey, I went back in there. I said, what you got? <laughs> in the. My bad. I know, we got to stay on point. We'll be here all night. Uh, Police officer found guilty of manslaughter in killing of a, a Tatiana Jefferson. That's it, right? Tatiana Jefferson. Look Ooh. at you. Look at me. I've been. I've I been. Could. Hold on. Why do we continue? I want to continue reading. Where is the rest of the article at? It's scan to download the Smart News app. Nigga, I'm not doing that. I'm gonna need y'all. Mm-hmm. I'm gonna need y'all start vetting these links. Hold on. I'll find it. You gonna slide in on, on Miss uh, Tatiana Jefferson, um, graduate yes. of the Xavier University of Louisiana. She was a pre-med student um, working in HR. So I had to like refresh my memory real quick. So this shooting happened in Fort Worth, Texas, I do believe. Yep, Fort Worth. Mm-hmm. And this is one where the officer like discharged his weapon through the window. Yep. Yeah. So what had happened was uh, they had left the front door open. She had her nephew over to play video games, I believe. Mm -hmm. And uh, somebody called and said, hey, the door's open. It's late. So they did a wellness check. And so instead of coming to the front door and ringing on doorbell, figuring out what the fuck's going on, this nigga comes around to the side of the house. She pokes her head out to see what's going on. And he opened up and shoot. Yeah. And so this was right on the heels of both from Jean in Dallas, mm-hmm. you know, and right across the way, you know what I'm saying? So, uh, old bitch who had got the back rub in court. Oh, bitch, I like that. You know what I'm talking about. You know, not, you know what I'm talking about. Well, I, would, I, I probably would say mayonnaise, bitch, but old bitch work too. You know what I mean? So she had just got, nah, it was beyond indictment. He got indicted. After she got convicted, you know what I'm saying? We were we were very upset about, you know, she only got to like 10 years and nigga was handing out Bibles and, and this nigga was, ah, it was the chest to chest episode. Mm-hmm. <laughs> that was the classic, I think like episode eight, the chest to chest episode where uh, maybe both of them decided he needed a hug and, and get some white titties rubbed on his chest. <laughs> Yes. <laughs> so, uh, she Amber had just Geiger. Amber Geiger had just got convicted for that, and then this happened, and they was like, "Oh, everybody like, what you gonna do?" It, it was, it was like that guys. scene. Uh, sorry, 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 sorry. It's like that scene from uh, Dear White People. Where the motherfuckers all lead in, <laughs> like all the niggas is out there, and they all lean in like, mm-hmm. <laughs> what you going to do? <laughs> so so they went ahead and indicted this nigga, and, and apparently these are the fruits of that labor. Good shit. So what what uh, what, what became of him? What's the, what's the, what's the conviction? Uh, I Uh, look for look for it. Verdict, committed body damage. Wow, they're going a long way. Have they not done sentencing yet, maybe? I don't think they've done the sentencing yet. I'm looking at this. They're basically going over what had happened. But I don't see sentencing yet. Oh, 
he faces a sentence of two to 22 years of manslaughter. So they have not done the sitting, the sitting scene yet. No, sir. Yeah, I don't know. If somebody hug his ass, bro. It's going to be a problem. Yeah, like, oh, damn, I forgot about that. Like, no CPR. That's crazy, bro. Like, you shoot a woman through her window while she's with her nephew, and you can't, you ain't got the fucking common, the, the human decency to provide basic medical aid mm-hmm. to an innocent that you wounded. Mm-hmm. I've seen soldiers do more than that, do more than that to motherfuckers who actually shot at them. That would be a rational decision made by an irrational person. Math is not mathing. Math is not mathing. Huh? Later on the show, we might have a video of uh, police not doing the correct math either. Anyway. Um, Breonna Taylor's boyfriend settles lawsuit over botched police raid. I don't know if I like the word botched. Is it like police raid that should not have happened? I don't know. I don't know. Botched is weird because botched means to me. I mean, like it was an appropriate raid, but something went wrong. To me, valid point. I think you're onto something there. Like we was at the right house at the right time, but we just shot the wrong person. I might be. I might be reading too much into it. I mean, with the wrong house at the. It was all time. it was all wrong. That's what I'm saying. It was like to all me, wrong. Nothing about it was right. To me, the word botch means like we were like we we were at the right place. We just fucked up. Right. We made the right decision. You know what I'm saying? We, we made the right call. We just made the wrong decision. Botch means they fucked up. I don't know if it indicates what part of the stream you fucked up at. Yeah, I hear you. I know it means they fucked up, but to me, I just I just see some old white man just reading that and being like. I mean, they was they was at the right place. They just did they just didn't handle it right. Yeah, because the nigga they were looking for was in custody. Yeah, it's like a, a botched robbery. It was like we was at the right bank. We just didn't pull it off the way we wanted to go. Right, <laughs> you like know what I'm saying? Execution. <laughs> the execution of the, of the of the robbery like, wasn't correct. <laughs> a botched Thanksgiving. And then a nigga, oh, we yeah. had everything right. We just burned the turkey. Yeah, no. I, I care, <laughs> of course, about the fucking, the fucking uh, macaroni and cheese and raisins in it. The botch macaroni and cheese, nigga. That's, <laughs> that's like that. That's, I like that commercial. It was, uh, they was arguing about who forgot the sweet potatoes. They had to throw the red flag. Uh, man, <laughs> I love those. I love those commercials. I want red flags, nigga. I want red flags. I love those commercials, dog. The dad who screamed at the spider, nigga. <laughs> I love yeah. those commercials. <laughs> okay, my bad. We she, got. She's like, she's like, we forgot. I, I, I forgot. The I for, sorry, mama. I forgot. Yeah. Uh, well, um, I should say bittersweet news. Uh, Louisville will pay um. Two million to settle two lawsuits filed by a boyfriend of Brianna Taylor, a black woman killed by police during a no-knock raid at her apartment in Kentucky, in, in the in the Kentucky city two years ago. The Washington Post reported Kenneth Walker filed a lawsuit against the city and in, in in the state and federal court claiming the plain clothes they was in plain clothes. Damn, officers violated his rights when they burst into Taylor's apartment while the couple was asleep and killed her on March 13. 2020 during the botch raid. Once again, I hate that word. Anyway, I didn't realize they were in plain clothes either. But then they just got indicted for shooting the wall. Oh, I know. I was so mad. I mean, it, it. we talked about it. So angry, nigga. Just like, wait a minute. So you're not guilty for killing this woman? This innocent woman? But the property damage? That's what, that's what we're going to jail for? Okay. Okay. Black Lives Matter, though. Not. Um, yeah, man. I mean, it, ah, shit. I feel for that, brother, too, man. You just, because you, you, you wake up, you go to defend your home, your woman, you know, your, your, your property. She dies, and then. And yourself, too. Yourself, too. I mean, yeah, yeah, I'm saying, like, that's included, but it's like. 
And then everything is like, no, not guilty, not guilty. Oh, he guilty of shooting into a wall. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, two million ain't shit, you know, especially, you know, depending on the relationship. It don't matter. They was together. That's all I know. And he loved her. That's all I know. Two million ain't shit. You know what I'm saying? As far as that goes, in my opinion. It helps, but it ain't shit. Moving on. Go away, money. It, yeah, yeah. Um, this is a weird transition. Sorry, y'all. Uh, up to seven Harris County courtrooms may have had pornography shown on video <laughs> screens. ABC 13 has learned. Speaking of botched, I feel like that's that a, was a weird transition too. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Hey, we interrupt this uh, early schedule. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. Uh, <laughs> 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 Will the defendant please rise? I'm already up. <laughs> I'm already up. Place your hand on this Bible. <laughs> <laughs> I need my hands for self defense. <laughs> Hold on, this this down your neck of the woods, AC. Yeah, I uh so I had I know Joe said he had got it from Ruben, I think. I had threw it in the chat too, because I had saw it. As soon as I saw it, I, th- I said, Oh hell no, I threw this in the <laughs> chat. Uh, um so I get the they were in the court, and you know how they do the Zoom meetings in the court, right? Yeah. Um, so they have the hearings by Zoom. So I guess it was 12 or so people in a, in a Zoom meeting, and right at the beginning of the Zoom meeting, apparently it was hacked by somebody. Ooh. And for like 12 seconds, everybody in this goddamn Zoom meeting nigga, was sitting around, and they had do this porn up on the screen, on all the Zoom screens. And they said it was on for like 12 seconds. And there was an interview with one of the one of the prosecutors. And he was like, uh, they took the, the word Zoom to another level. It was really, really, really extremely close. Yeah. <laughs> and it was a... Uh, Damn. It was, so they they was in the butthole. And the judge was scrambling, nigga, trying to get it off the screen. Uh, and they said it was on for like about 15, 20 seconds or whatever. But it was a full-blown porn <laughs> in the middle of these goddamn prosecutor Zoom meetings. Hey man, that video gotta be somewhere. Oh, I, I, oh if I find it, nigga, it, it's there. I want, I want to see these faces. <laughs> that video gotta be nigga, out. Nigga, that white man that was giving that interview on the news was so fucking red and flustered, nigga. I was hollering. <laughs> I was mm. hollering. Is that, is that the red face they said uh, looked like a, 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 a Tupperware container was? <laughs> <laughs> No, that was different, man. I just, that was a random shit I posted. Hold on. <laughs> Hold on. Somebody said, I saw 10 to 12 seconds of it in the middle of the courtroom. Tyler Flood, an attorney who saw the porn, said, it was crazy. The entire hoosh, the entire huge screen got taken over by. The camera was really zoomed in. That Shocking. Was him. <laughs> that was him. He said it took the word zoom to another level. <laughs> Shit, that's too bad. I mean, that's that's not too bad actually. Oh man, oh, that's that's okay. Yeah, but apparently it was hacked. So somebody hacked into the goddamn court system, man, and, and threw a porn in there for him. That's too bad, man. I mean, really, it is. It's too bad. Oh man, no, there's no uh, video evidence, but uh, we would keep an eye out. Yeah. Man, they need to get a release before they get released, nigga. Hey, that woman's like, it'd be bad, though, if it was just like Brian Pumper fucking singing his, <laughs> rapping his whack-ass fucking hip-hop tracks. <laughs> I'd be mad. I'd be like, boo, boo, nigga. The porn Lord, the porn Lloyd Banks, nigga? Bring me Wesley Pipes, nigga. <laughs> and the fact that Kim is covering her eyes, she knows all these names. We see you, ma'am. You cannot hide your face. What, what did we say about uh, somebody getting released before somebody else getting released? Huh? I, I huh? thought we had. I thought that was we was moving into. Huh? 
this Britney coming home. You oh. talking about how you got your release before somebody else got their release? Is that what you're trying to tell that's us? Called a cons- no, that's, that's no, called a, that's called called a considerate was. lover, ma'am. <laughs> I heard when Britney came home. Did she come home? The, Did the she come racist- home? Did Britney come home? I'm so glad that Britney is back in the States ah, with yes. the people that love her. Better wording. Thank you. <laughs> WNBA star Britney Griner released from Russian detention in prisoner swap for a convicted arms dealer. That makes sense. That makes sense. Yeah. Is that the only... That's the only play you had. That was only that was only trade available. That that's the only play you I'm, had. I'm I'm gonna be the person to say it. I know m- most people would think it, and it's probably inappropriate to say, but that was the only trade available. I mean, but really though, the only reason why they mad because this nigga's probably putting the United States out the game for a minute. They was like, we the only niggas to get to trade to third world countries, my nigga. <laughs> Keep it above. <laughs> <laughs> All I know is I put on Facebook that uh. This nigga Chris Paul pissed off right now because his trade to the Lakers got cut. <laughs> <laughs> they was turned would have never let this shit go. Stern would have never done it. He went like, that bitch ain't coming no, back. Never would let this shit happen, bro. <laughs> Mm-mm. David Stern would have said, leave her ass over there. Uh, David <laughs> Stern would have. David Stern would have sent her a basketball and been like, sorry, baby. <laughs> Bitch, you going to the Clippers? <laughs> <laughs> I, I mean, I haven't been on the show in a minute, but what was it? Uh, I think this. Sometimes the smart, dumb people I work with, they are so smart as far as EP goes, but nothing else. Somebody was really confused about the whole penal colony shit. They was like, "But she's a lesbian," and I was like. It, it not, Ooh, it, yeah. It's not a penis colony. You understand that, right? It is a, <laughs> it's not a colony of just dicks being forced inside of a woman. It is a, it's not what it is. It's not what it is. I, I was hurt. I was like, you were very good at your job, but you would don't. You probably don't do well outside this hospital, do you? Probably learned about the law in the Harris County courtroom. (laughs) 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 Common sense. They said, they said, they're like, well, why they gonna send her there? And I was like, what do you mean? It's a penal con. I said, no, 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 no. Hey, I, I hit that black woman on uh, Get Out. No, 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 <laughs> Sodom and Gomorrah Island, nigga. What? The sad part is there'll be what? niggas that be signing up for that shit. I won't go. I won't go, boss. <laughs> Fuck it. Oh, name of the name of the show: Sodom and Gomorrah Island, nigga. That's it. <laughs> 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 Let's see if Apple 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 allows it to happen, nigga. Let's go. <laughs> I think that's a go, bro. <laughs> that is a go. <laughs> that said, that's nigga, the big go. Hey, fuck. Huh? Whew. I mean, this is a good laugh because she is home. That's good. That's good news. Um. Yeah, but they, they act like they act like my man about to get out of prison and just start just selling guns tomorrow. I know. I think he might have the connects, bro. I don't know. Nah, I I said he, so is, he is, was this really the nigga they made uh, Lord of War after? Yes, I think that was it was mentioned. Yeah. No, he's the guy that they made it after. Yeah. Yeah, that's crazy. I said he gonna do a whole new revamp. He gonna be the merchant of death. He probably gonna get a, a deal with the NRA. And he going to be the fucking the merchant of the Second Amendment or some shit, dog. That's what's going to happen, dog. He going to get a deal with the NRA. That's what's going to happen. But, yeah. Why do, ha- uh, go ahead. No, go ahead, pimp. 
I was gonna say, why do people feel the need though? Like every time something happens, like we said, this was pretty much the only play. Like <laughs> we didn't have a choice. Like so, why does everybody feel the need to make a make a conversation now about your boy Paul Whalen? Here's why the thing. Is that why does that have to come up now? Because the same people who making that making that known now were quiet during the whole the last administration when uh, a deals could have been made to free Paul Whelan. and also they ain't saying shit about the what four thousand to five thousand uh, Taliban soldiers. Not all of them were soldiers. I admit that, but the five thousand Taliban soldiers, helpers, Affiliates. whatever you want to call it who were released during the uh, previous administration. Ain't nobody said shit about that, though. Right. And, they, and they was released for nothing. Goodwill. No trades, nigga. No, oh, they just made them niggas free agents. Yeah, I was like, <laughs> say, you know me, same energy, dog. Same energy. They, they all old white men to me. So same energy for everybody. Everybody get quiet. It's like, oh, oh, well, that that happened. Yeah, nigga, you 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 on you on Twitter, all this political analysis, nigga. I thought you were for CNN. You forgot about that. Oh, okay. <laughs> right. Well, you're just saying that because you're a Biden fan. No, I ain't. Uh, I mean, I voted for him. I don't know if I'm a fan for him. That's different. It's a different word. You just saying words matter, nigga. Voting for does not mean the fan of. It means I like hmm. Lesser right. two evils. All I evil. chose my best option. Yeah, all evil, all evil to niggas though. But yeah, man. You know what? I'm glad she home. Especially for her wife. You know what I'm saying? That that was I know that was a struggle. And like, I mean, I couldn't imagine like any of y'all, anybody that I love fuck with being over in Russia. Like you probably thinking, I'm never going to see this person ever again. I mean, for real. I like we we, we talked about it. Like when they made that announcement, she going to the peanut gallery, nigga. I was like, oh, that's a wrap. She done, uh, nigga. So you know, salute to her and her wife. Um, we shall see the repercussions of the merchant of death. I think the U.S. is a much bigger merchant of death than this one, man, but we shall see. Um, yeah, man. It's a conversation motherfuckers don't want to have, though. Yeah, and this whole Paul Whelan thing, like, motherfuckers like, oh, he was just out in Russia walking along the countryside and got arrested. Nigga, stop. Stop it. You got a former military person. He was discharged from the Marines. Cool. But then somebody who was working for as a... So hold on. How do you get discharged from the Marines? So that means you have a dishonorable discharge. He was discharged from the Marines for like a like a petty theft or some shit. So that means you leave with a dishonorable discharge, but now you're working as a security officer for another company and you're over in Russia? How do you get a security gig with a high level company with a discharge? A dishonorable, you should have, they never said, they never say how he was discharged, but if you discharge with a larceny, whatever the fuck he was discharged with, it should be dishonorable, as far as I understand the military works, as far as my arm, the army works, it should be dishonorable. How did you get a security clearance to be a security officer for another company and just gallivanting around Russia? Make it make sense. Somebody, please. They ain't gallivanting no more. Uh, you a spy, nigga. And they say he had papers on him or some shit? Well, I mean... Like some, uh, and, some and documents then, on him, too? Then, of course, it becomes this whole thing, well, this Russia, and how can we trust them? And I'm like, well... I'm like, I, I used to go, well, well, Trump did. He trusted Russia. So, same energy once again, nigga. Like, what we doing? <laughs> <laughs> Anyway, man, we'll see how it all play out. So I'm a, I'm a, I'm gonna leave it at. I'm glad this I'm glad this black woman home. I'm glad she with her wife, and I'm gonna leave it at that. All right, I got something to say. Go ahead, say it, nigga. <laughs> so I, I told y'all a few episodes ago about my Republican mother. <laughs> oh shit, where are we going? Oh wow, she I know she has something to say. 
She posted something from my uh, least favorite, her favorite website. My least favorite website on earth is called Town Hall. Oh. And this is a Republican blog that, you know, she claims is fair and balanced. It's the farthest thing from it. And so all this shit's going on about the, the prisoner swap. And they looking at her Adam's apple. And they trying to find out if she a man, if she even got a right to be playing women's basketball. Yeah, Kim. Don't take take the take the mute off. Oh, I mean, I'm not. You're, are you surprised by this, Joe? Does this surprise you? They 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 do I'm know sorry. that this is an antiquated way of thinking, right? That this has been disproven time and time again, right? I'm just like, is this the time for that argument? Like, I, I mean, know. that too. Right, that too. Mm-hmm. I don't know. It's, it's still, Republicans are pushing that agenda. When is it ever a time for any argument that they bring up, though? They, they always seem to find the most random out-of-pocket shit. Like a smoke a screen or something, yeah. But then my thing I always be like, okay, it's a, a man. So you want another U.S. citizen stealing a Russian penal colony? Regardless. Regardless. Right. Regardless if she got two dicks. I don't give a fuck. You want a, a U.S. citizen in a she Russian penal colony. Dick. She be running around the penal colony. <laughs> the, pe- the penis colony. Hey, now, I, I was still hurt by that. I was just like, wait, 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 wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. No, no, no. This is no, 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 no. I be having to do this shit with the kids all the time in class. I'm like, no, that's not what that means. It's not what that means. The etymology of that word does not come from that. I was so hurt. These same motherfuckers get to to administer anesthesia. Stop. Once again, we have a <laughs> lot of smart people in one lane. I've, I've been learning that there are people who are exceptional, exceptional at like one thing. And once they step out of that one thing, they are fucking lost. <laughs> they fall off the cliff. Deep and narrow, huh? <laughs> deep and narrow, dog. Like there are some people I would like, yes, you can put me to sleep. You can intubate me. Blah 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 blah. That is it. That is all. Don't do shit else to me. Don't do. Don't speak on my behalf. On nothing, nigga. Nothing. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. It's it's crazy. Like 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 we 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 are here in this. I guess we've created our own echo chamber of black people who think outside the box. We're also smart. We're also we're pretty good in our fields. Some of us are better in our fields. Whatever, whatever. But we exist outside of our fields, and I, I find as I get older, I find out more and more that it's not that common. It's not that common. People are stupid. That's it. People are stupid. Yeah. No, anyway, I don't trust you niggas. Shit. <laughs> Nigga, I was like that motherfucker said, well, "Why are they gonna do that to her?" And I said, "Huh." I remember she's a lesbian. I said, what? What? Huh? What? 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 <laughs> anyway, um, yeah, we ain't got to read all this. We know what it's about. Glad she home. Uh, I still think Paul Wheaton's a fucking uh, spy. I mean, he's a spy for us. He got caught. You get caught. Niggas know what happened. We all seen Inspector Gadget and Mission Impossible and all that shit. Yeah. You be mad. He, he ain't swallowed the arsenic pill. He, he got to bite the pill. He ain't, he ain't a real OG, nigga. He's, he's, supposed, he's supposed to crack open a little quarter and, and pull out the little needle and scratch himself, man. Yeah, you got to do what you got to do. You got to bite. Uh, you got to be like old boy in um, Mich- uh, the James Bond movie. You got to bite that tooth. Mm-hmm. That, yep. that. Yeah. Anyway, um, this I mean, this is older, but it came back up. Uh, Trevor Reed. We gotta dig it because this is uh what we say twenty eight twenty twenty two. It's been making the rounds as far as a um, U.S. Uh, citizen being swapped. So with Russia, yeah, yeah, yeah. I think it was just bought up. I think it was just bought up because of Paul Whelan, how they were saying um, 
um, you know, America, you know, took the short end of the stick or how this shit happens all the time and and how when 2019 they were during the Trump administration, they were trying to get Trevor, uh, Trevor, his name, Trevor Reed, they were trying to get yep. him out. But the Republicans had a whole agenda and they, they didn't want to hear any parts of trying to get him out. But now, you know, motherfuckers is making noise about Paul Whelan because of Brittany Griner. And it was like just it's just another way to show like how 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 the motherfuckers continuously talk out of both both sides of their mouth. Yeah, it's, it's just, all uh, it's all politics. Know, with, yeah, it's all politics, man. Break bread with your brothers whenever possible.